Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do the last reading and it's for the sign of Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, please remember that the readings are general. They may not resonate with you. Um, if they don't, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart. Your Scorpio sun is only one component of who you are and that's sort of the person you show to the world. Your moon, your ascendant and your Venus can tell you more about who you are inside. The moon cards seem to, moon readings seem to be showing up for more people at the moment. People are saying their moon is resonating more, which is quite interesting. But then I guess we're in a different world at the moment, so that would make sense. Okay, do remember though that the readings um, do flip-flop. Oh. Nice cut spirit. Ah, oh, well, that's interesting. Cut straight to the, ca ca the card of Capricorn. Um, so you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Now, the devil card is about the ego. This is about lust, obsession, obsessive behavior, addiction, drugs, alcohol, pornography. All of those real deep and dark things that we carry with us. Scorpio, I feel like here that you are either going into some sort of change here where you are allowing some of these things to fall away. So you're allowing this ego to fall away here. You have the chariot here as well. So some of you may be dealing with a cancer, but it looks like to me like you're moving forward, perhaps after being in some sort of situation that could have been quite karmic. I see you going it alone here with this nine of coins. So you could have moved away from a relationship. You um, could have moved away from some situation here that's kept you tied, bonded. Someone's been really like, you, you could have moved away from someone that's been really obsessive, really controlling, hanging on to you because you've got a brand new start here and you're being able to move forward. So you could have gone through a very painful ending to something to move in a new direction i feel that you've had maybe some sort of karmic relationship and i feel that this person has been really obsessive here but this could be you too it could be um, that you've been dealing yourself with some sort of addiction or you could have been dealing with a person who had a strong addiction but whatever it is, it's come to the end. The doors are opening and you're moving forward here. Okay, so there's been a lot of stress, a lot of unhappiness, a lot of sadness, um, and a lot of worry about how to move forward here. But you've closed something out here. So you've definitely said goodbye to something. You've moved away from something. Yeah, wow, look at this. Then we have the Ten of Swords. Holy dooly, that strong energy. And the Page of Wands. Okay, this here has been very difficult for you to move forward from. There's been a lot of worry, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety here. Um, but you are definitely moving away from it. I see you sort of finding this part of yourself, this passion, this desire is coming back for you. Um, I feel almost like you've been trapped in some sort of either a prison. Um, you may have come out of prison, but it's more like you've been trapped in some sort of situation that has been very difficult for you to move away from. Oh, look at this. And here's you moving away from it. Okay. We have you moving very quickly. So you have the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. So it's like you're bringing your life back into perspective here. And look at you taking on the energy of the King of Wands, Knight of Wands even. Um, and you are moving towards something that you now want in your life. So you're moving away from something that was very negative, very cold, very controlling. Um, and you are moving towards something new. Okay, you may be moving towards a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. And there you are. All the cards here that moving away, moving quickly, moving rapidly, going forward. Okay, and there you are. 
So you're standing in your own power here. You're taking back what rightfully belongs to you and you're taking back your power. To be honest with you, I think some of you have been through the mill here. Um, I feel that you've closed out this cycle. Whatever it was, whatever situation you were in, you are turning your back on something and moving forward. I feel that perhaps you've endured this pain for a very long time. Oh, um, it's just the, the whole reading is just leaving behind, moving forward, finding your passion and just stepping into your own power. That's it. But I feel like you have someone here that you are moving towards and I feel like you are moving towards them quite rapidly. So maybe you're moving back towards someone that you left behind or maybe you're moving towards someone new, but you are not staying put here. Whatever you've left behind has made you realise that you want something new here. You want something and I feel like you're moving. I'm going to put some more cards on this. Really sort of odd reading. Okay, so we have you here moving away from something. I think you're rebuilding your life after some sort of karmic situation. Moving forward with this chariot, going into single life here and manifesting something new. And see, there's the card of the lovers. I didn't look for that before, but I think you're making a choice to move away from a person to move towards someone new. I don't think it's like an affair or um, a situation where you are... Um, you are moving away from one person to go to another person, but I think that you've made your mind up. You want someone new here or you want a situation to change. You may be going towards another situation that you were in before, um, but you're not staying where you are. You're not staying put here. So you're standing in your power now. I feel like you're coming out of some sort of karmic situation here. So why is this person here? Okay, we have the Fool. You want to take a leap of faith. Um, with this Fool card, you're going after somebody else here and leaving something behind. Eight of Coins. You want to work on something now that you left behind. Yep, it's definitely a an Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. You're leaving something behind. Now... It's quite interesting because it could have been that you made a choice between two people and you picked someone karmic rather than picked a soulmate. You could have had a choice of two people with the lover's card and went down the wrong path. And I feel like you're now going towards this person to offer something here because you're taking a leap of faith. And I strongly feel it's a Capricorn um, especially with the devil card coming out at the beginning. I feel you want to work with this person now. Um, I feel like you chose wrongly for some reason. You chose some sort of karmic path because you needed lessons to learn. I mean, really and truly, you do that before you even come to the planet. So for some unknown reason, you needed to learn something here. Um, there's a strong feeling that there may have been some addictions either within the relationship or with the other person you were dealing with. Um, and I feel like you now realise you made the wrong choice and you're going back towards something here. Okay, so we have the card of the Andean Cross coming out here. So it's card number two. So I'll get that out for you. Okay, the Andean Cross announces the start to a great journey. Journey. It's time to raise your gaze from the mundane day to day to which until now has seemed beyond your grasp. Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a resounding yes. The time of par has passed and the window of opportunity has closed. Now is not the moment to take the leap you've been over preparing for. It is best to wait until conditions in heaven line up again to offer you a more pro propitious moment. Any bold action you take now will require tremendous effort on your past. Well, this would make sense really, isn't it? You can't really go towards someone as the world is now. So it's asking for you to be still and wait for the right time. 
So maybe you're trying to rush something here with these cards of moving forward very rapidly. And the universe is saying, just wait. The time is going to be right for you. It's just not right now. Very interesting. Scorpio, have a great week.